Today is Monday, April 6th, and I'm in Montreal. As goes without saying, I will be socially distancing through this video, keeping at least six feet away from anyone who approaches. I try to keep more than six feet whenever possible. I also like to wear a face mask just on the little chance that as I speak, something were to come out of my mouth, I don't want to uh, create any risk to anyone around me. So I try to take every possible precaution. For example, here, I see someone approaching, so I'm going to cross the street. If I had a car, I would probably drive to somewhere with a few less people so I could walk around some quieter area. But since I don't have a car and I don't like taking public transit at this time, I can only really walk around my area, which is the Plateau neighborhood in Montreal. So I hope you all understand that I'm not recommending people go out just to make YouTube videos. I'm not making light of the situation whatsoever. I'm just here to show you a bit of what it is like in Montreal at this time. Some of the other days I've been here, I've seen police circling this park and they've started giving out tickets in Quebec, in particular in the parks, to people who are not social distancing. And those tickets start at $1,000 and they go up to $5,000. But I have to say, there are a lot of people in the park. And I'm gonna keep my eyes open to make sure I don't run into any crowds. <laughs> COVID-19. So this was, yeah, this was a dog park. The dog park is closed, as you can see. I can tell you why there's so many people out because it's a beautiful day. It's also quite a densely populated zone where I live. You know, it's not like just houses. Every building is three levels of apartments, like the ones in front of me. I've actually heard in some other cities that they've started to close some of the streets and make it available only for walking down the middle. So people don't have to go to the park so much. They have a chance to uh, to walk through the streets. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already walking down the streets because if someone is approaching, oh, someone on that sidewalk too. But if someone is approaching, I would much rather deal with the cars on the street and then deal with the social distancing stuff, so. Look at this, what a beautiful day. If you're watching from another city, I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know what is happening with social distancing where you are? Are people leaving the house? Are they staying inside? Are the shops open? Are the shops closed? One thing I've noticed is a lot of small businesses are closed and uh, it's a tough time for businesses. So I hope we can all remember when this is over to support the shops in your neighborhood that you want to see, that you want to stay strong and continue on because it's going to be a tough year for a lot of business owners and we need to look after each other.
couple of weeks ago I published a video about the rainbows that are popping up all over Montreal. A little message of hope from the neighbors to each other. Now I'm noticing again that even though the park area is quite busy, the streets like this one are much less busy than they would normally be. Still lots of cars of course because people are at home. People are still living here but for the most part they are inside. Of course the construction cones that we always have in Montreal, uh, they must have been declared essential workers because they are still here. Anyway, I'm coming up to Mount Royal Street. This is another major street, so this will be another test to see how busy it is. Closed for an undetermined time. Sorry. That's quite nice how they've done it with the traffic cones, allowing people to stay six feet away two meters distance between everyone at the grocery store. Due to recommendations, we are exceptionally closed. So when it comes to restaurants, uh, some of them have made the decision to close because business is slow and not so many people are eating out. But some of them are open, they are just doing takeaway only. So you're no longer allowed to dine in in any restaurant in Montreal. I believe in all of Quebec as like this now. Other parts of Canada... Actually, I'm not sure if other parts of Canada are doing the same. That's a pet store back there, it is still open. But yeah, some other parts of Canada, you know, we're a very big country and some areas don't have that many cases. So they don't have the same restrictions as Quebec, as I understand. So here's another one, this is a bakery. We are open. Ça va bien aller. And really the challenge is that even though we all understand the virus is serious, I hope everyone understands that by now. The challenge is when you live in an urban area with a lot of people and you still need to go out and exercise, uh, it's, it's difficult. Or even just to buy groceries, it's very difficult. So, I guess that would be the takeaway message from this video. Uh, it's a challenging time for everyone, especially people who live in urban areas. You just live so close to each other that it's difficult to avoid people at all times. It is a beautiful city though, isn't it? I guess I'll just walk down the middle of the street since there's nobody driving today. the flag of Quebec. La Peste by Albert Camus. That's quite funny. La Peste is a book that in English is called The Plague and it's about a city that lives through a plague in France and uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's a coincidence or if they put that up as some humor but that's pretty funny. Anyway, that's it for today. That's been our walk through Montreal. I hope it goes without saying that my heart goes out to all the people around the world who are suffering right now. We're gonna make it through this and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time guys.